Hi, this is Pete Olivier. I'm the calibration technician at Thompson Equipment Company. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the Yokogawa AXF transmitter, which can be used with any number of different uh, sensor tubes provided by Yokogawa. We have to start off by entering in some parameters into the transmitter, and I will step you through that as we go. The first thing to do is to block off the set and hold it briefly, and then it will tell you, touch shift plus down and that's these two. And then you go down one more to accept yes and then hit set again and set a third time and pardon me a fourth time sometimes and you get into the menu. We have to go into basic setup first and then set to select it and then we're going to go down and the first thing we're going to do is set our damping. Normally we use three seconds here which is what's in there but you can set any number up to 999 seconds no, excuse me, up to 200 seconds. Um, but it's very simple, you just use shift to advance to the digit that you want to change. The down arrow actually raises the digit, so if you want to lower the damping you have to cycle around one, two seconds, and you can set fractions as well, so we can make this two and a half seconds if we like. And then hit set, and set again and flow damping is now set up. We have to select measure mode, set. We have standard dual frequency or enhanced dual frequency. Most cases you'll need standard dual frequency which is what we already have set here. Set, set. Then we're going to enter the low meter factor. You should receive this on a calibration sheet from us. Both meter factors on the sheet uh, they will be identified as the low factor or the calculated high factor. So set. The low factor that we're putting in here is 0.9856. We already have a number in there that's close. Shift, shift, and we have to cycle around to get to 8 because it's it's below the 9. 8, shift, 5, shift, Nine, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Set and set again. And then we will enter the high meter factor, which will be on the same sheet. And in this case, we're entering nine point nine two six six. Shift, shift, and cycle around until we get to the two. Cycle around till we get to the six, and then count up till we get to the second six. Set and set again. Next, we have to select the flow tube. There are a number of different options in here. Uh, it could be an Admeg AXF, an Admeg, Admeg AE, Admeg SE. UMEG or calibrator. You're not going to be using calibrator, but the uh, part number of the tube that you're setting this up for will dictate which one you select. I'm going to be setting it for an ADMEG AXF, which is already in there. Uh, that's what we happened to use the secondary for the last time we used it. Set, set. Then the nominal size. Uh, excuse me, the nominal size unit. We normally work in inches, although you can select millimeters if you would prefer. If you don't want to make a change, you don't have to hit set. You can hit shift, to set shift and escape out, which has the same result. It leaves everything just where it was. You go down to the nominal size, and it was last used on an 8 inch tube. The cow factor that I have set for is a 6 inch tube, so we're going to change that from 8 to 6. Base flow unit, we normally work in GPM. You have other options available. You can work in megagallons, kilogallons, barrels, and on and on. We're not going to change it. We're going to leave it in, in gallons. Base time unit, you can set days, minutes, hours, or seconds. And then the, finally the flow span which for a 6 inch tube, if we're flowing it, is going to be set to 2700 GPM. Two, shift 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Set, set. The only thing left now is to zero this secondary. You have to have water in the flow tube with no motion, have no flow. And to get to that, I need to set that, I thought I had. We're going to escape out of here. It's in easy setup. And to get there, we can go shift down, which brings us up. Set. And item number 50 is auto zero execute, which is one layer above. We have to hit shift down again, which will bring us up. Set. It's set for no execution. That's the default. You go down to select execution, set, and set, and it will do the auto zero function. And when it's finished, it will come back and tell you that it's finished. After we've finished doing the auto zero, we have actually set up this secondary and there's nothing left to do except start operating your system and using your signal for whatever purpose you're going to be using it for, to control a valve or whatever. Okay, auto zero has finished and then the, all we have to do now is hit escape out and it tells you how many GPM you're flowing. Thanks for sitting, uh, for attending this uh, demonstration of how to set up a Yokogawa AXF secondary. Um, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to call us, 504-833-6381.